Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to take a look at my week 15 NFL power rankings slash tier list. It is a day later than I normally do, mainly because of the Packers game on Monday. Got my review out later. Don't like to upload too many videos in one day here. And tiers are the same as usual. We got Super Bowl, Division, Wild Card, Mid. It's supposed to be Mid Bad Tanking, not Bad Mid Taking. Mid bad and tanking and so yeah that's kind of where we're at right now in the nfl season so let's go and get started before we do please like comment and subscribe for more I'll be back tomorrow with my nfl predictions for thursday night football and yeah that's pretty much all i got to say let's go and get started with arizona cardinals who still in tanking tier on a bye week this week after beating the Steelers 24 10, so they're on their higher end of tanking. And overall, just very solid. I mean, not really too much to say. We'll see how they do that on the stretch if they want to stay with, with Kyler Murray or train on the offseason, depending on what they pick in the draft. So we will see what they do. Be interested to see how they do down the stretch. Next up is the Atlanta Falcons, who are at 6 and 7, lost control of their division after losing to the Buccaneers. I'm going to put them in mid because they are kind of a mid-average team. Um, they're 6-7, and seven, still in contention for their division, which is the weakest division in football. And currently on the outside looking in the playoffs, not a very good team. Um, there's still some baffling decisions about Arthur Smith, why he keeps starting Desmond Ritter. So, yeah, Falcons, they're in mid. Baltimore, up in Super Bowl contender, especially with a couple other teams Losing, they're definitely very secure in the Super Bowl contender tier. They were able to beat the Rams in a very tough overtime game this week, which is I, I think says a lot about the Rams and how good they are. But Baltimore, number one seed in the AFC for now, and still a very, very good team. Buffalo. Still on the outside looking in with the one, two, three, four, five, six teams in the AFC. All at seven and six because of all the tiebreaker stuff. They're out of the playoffs, but they're still very much in contention after beating the Kansas City Chiefs. They probably saved their season with that win, and if they get a couple more wins, they could be in really good spot here to make the playoffs. Still in mid higher tier mid because they're seven and six, and we'll see what happens with them down the stretch. But Josh Allen's been playing pretty good football, so Buffalo in mid, Panthers. Nothing else to say. You have one win somehow against the Texans. And eliminate from playoff contention. They're 1-12. and 12. They're a terrible, terrible football team. So you are there in tanking. I'm still keeping you in bad Chicago. Not because like I think you're a bad team overall to say. It's because you're not up there in the mid-teams at like the 7-6 and six and 6-7. Six and you're at 5-8. You did just beat the Lions, which I think says more about the Lions than you. Um, I think you're still a pretty solid football team. Your defense has been playing fantastic recently, which I think is a really, really good sign for you. The only reason why you're bad is because you're not in the giant mess. I have to separate them somewhere in the mess of teams that are at 500, basically, between the two conferences. But things are looking up for you, Chicago. Things are looking up. And you got a very interesting question heading into the offseason if you keep Justin Fields or trade him to get off all the assets and draft like Caleb Williams at number one. So, it's going to be a very intriguing offseason for Chicago. Next, we've got the Cincinnati Bengals, who, sitting at 7-6, to six, are another one of these teams in the AOC that are just kind of there in mid. Still, back-to-back -back good weeks from Jake Browning and back-to-back -back wins really is impressive. The fact that you're not laying there and dying like I thought you were a couple weeks ago when Joe Burrow went down, Shows that you have a good team rounding, and Zach Taylor has been calling some great plays. Jake Browning has been playing fantastic. He probably secured himself a lifetime backup role in the NFL, spot starter as well. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with you, Cincinnati. I really, really am. Next up, we've got the Cleveland Browns. Firmly positioned themselves in a wild card at 8-5. and five. They have been playing some really darn good football as well. They just beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Granted, Trevor Lawrence was a bit hobbled, but Joe Flacco played very, very good in that game. The defense was able to really stifle the Jaguars until the last quarter. And so overall, very impressive performance. I think you guys should be safe down the stretch as well. But good job, Cleveland. Good job. Making a jump 
for me, into Super Bowl tier, we have the Dallas Cowboys. Very, very impressive win over the Eagles. They frankly dominated Philadelphia. And they, I was saying when they were making their wins, let's see them beat a real team. They just did. And Dallas, I think, solidified themselves in the top four conversation in the NFL with a very, very impressive win over Philadelphia. And I think Dak really solidified himself into the MVP conversation as well. So, good job, Dallas. You did what you're supposed to do. You're now in the Super Bowl contender tier. Uh, Denver, another one of these AFC teams at 7-6, kind of just sitting there in mid. Not really much to say. You picked up a win. And you got the job done against uh, against the Chargers, so good for you, Denver. You're still in contention with about eight other teams in the AFC. Next, we got Detroit. Individual, but they are shaky. That defense has not been playing well at all. The offense has really slowed down. And it's getting into the conversation where, did they peak too soon? Now, that was a question we have to ask. But I still think they're going to win the division as the Vikings and Packers are kind of stumbling over themselves. And the Bears are sitting back there in the back. So, Detroit still in the division, but man, you are shaky right now. Next up with Green Bay. Technically still in the last wild card spot in the NFC, so they're staying in the wild card for me. But if you saw my last video, absolutely brutal, brutal loss to the New York Giants. And I just, I, I can't believe it type thing. Like, that was bad and embarrassing. You got to fix a lot of stuff. It was definitely a trap game coming off your three straight good wins. And hopefully this can wake up the Packers to fix some issues if need to. It really show the limitations of Joe Barry and his God-forsaken defense and what he chooses to call when he needs a field goal to win. But Green Bay is still, I believe, ahead of schedule. In fact, even competing for a playoff spot at all is really good. So Green Bay is still on wild card. Up here in mid as well, Houston. That was a pretty embarrassing loss to the Jets. Uh, the fact that you gave up 30 points to the Zach Wilson-led offense is not very good at all. But I do think you are in a good spot. you got to worry about C.J. Stroud here a little bit with his concussion. But Houston right now in mid. And Indianapolis currently has a 7th seed in the AFC. Um, they got spanked by Jake Browning and the Bengals. And so they kind of as well in this mass amount of mid in the AFC that are at 7-6. to six. And so it'll be interesting to see if they can hold on to that spot, but the fact that even there at all is very, very impressive. So good on you, Indianapolis. Uh, Jacksonville, still division leader, but they're only a game ahead of Indianapolis and Houston, so this division is really coming down to the wire. Um, I'm getting a little bit of an excuse this week as I really do think that Trevor Lawrence should not have played this week with that ankle sprain. The fact that he played at all was kind of a miracle. And so, I don't, and they try to make a comeback there, but the deficit is too big to overcome. So, they're still in division tier, so there's that. Next is Kansas City. Another bad game for them. That's back to back bad games for them, where they couldn't really get anything going. The defense is being stupid. Kadarius Tony, we all know, is being very, very stupid. And so, I think Kansas City, they're only a game ahead of the Broncos for the division. They could very easily, if they don't play well, fall into a wild card game where Mahomes has to play on the road for the first time in his career in the playoffs. So, Kansas City, you're in danger. You are in danger. Another team going down the mid is uh, Chargers here. They're currently at 5-8. and eight. Not a very good team at all. And so, they lost to the Broncos pretty handily. So, they're down there and bad. LA, one of those 6-7 and seven NFC teams that are fighting for the last playoff spot. Another team in mid. They really fought well against the Ravens. I, the Ravens are just a better team and took them overtime. So, very impressive there for the Rams. They're competing there. So, really, really good stuff from LA. So, the Raiders. I have to put in the tank here for putting up zero points against the Vikings and losing 3 nothing. Um, not really much to say there. We got a bad fest going on Thursday Night Football between the Chargers and Raiders, so I'm not really looking forward to that at all. Uh, next up, we got the Miami Dolphins, who I'm putting in here in division tier as well, um, mainly just because you lo you blew the lead to the you blew it against the Titans. The Titans are not that great of a football team. They could be next year because Will Levis actually looks really competent, but you are worried about Tyreek Hill's injury because without him, the offense does not seem to know how to function. 
And that was very evident against the Titans there. So Miami, got to be cautious there. Next up, we got Minnesota. Still in wild cards here, 7-6 ever, a 3 nothing victory over the Raiders. Not really much to say. Your quarterback situation is a mess. You're going to start Nick Mullins next week, so not much to say there for Minnesota other than he got lucky. So there's that. New England eliminated from the playoffs, even with the victory over the Steelers on Thursday Night Football. Now you're in a tanking tier. Bill Belichick is going to be let go at the end of the year. It's going to be a new era for New England. be interesting to see what they do. Uh, new Orleans. What record are they at? Another 6-7 and seven team. Back here with the Falcons competing for that NFC South division. And they beat up on the Panthers. Not much else to really say about them. So, New Orleans is in mid. Don't really trust them too much. Don't trust Derek Carr at all. Next, we got the Giants who are in the bad tier. Really impressive victory over the Packers, I will say. Tommy DeVito, really nice storyline. Played pretty solid. Did not turn the ball over. Saquon has been running well recently. That defense has been playing good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, moving up from tanking tier after my frustration with them is the New York Jets, who somehow dropped 30 points against the Texans with Zach Wilson. What the heck happened? So I still think they're a bad team. They're not obviously not going to make the playoffs this year. There's just too much ahead of them. And so the Jets, you just got to hope that Rodgers can come back healthy next year. You got to definitely build that O-line up again. And so the Jets are in bad. Uh, Philadelphia, top in the wild card. I mean, you're the wild card team. You got absolutely embarrassed. This is twice now that you got embarrassed by absolute contenders in the 49ers and Cowboys. And you can start wondering if this is a starting for a decline for the Eagles, if they start headed to playoffs on a downturn. So, but they're still in wild card. They're definitely going to make the playoffs this year. And so Philadelphia's in wild card tier. Uh, Pittsburgh, technically still in a, a wild card team. Don't know how, but you lost to the Cardinals and Patriots back to back. You are a bad team. Be a miracle if you make the playoffs, especially with these four behind you. And so not much else to say there. Uh, Seattle, another team in the mid category in the NFC. They're competing there. I they still got a rough week of schedule ahead. They got the 49ers again, as well as the Eagles. So not really much else to say there. Next I got the 49ers, my top team. They just keep rolling. They beat up on Seattle. They got a pretty easy schedule to head on. They're the number one seed in the AFC NFC. They've beaten the Eagles and the Cowboys. The only tough, tough, tough test they got left, I believe, is they face the Ravens. And, and it's a Super Bowl matchup, so 49ers, I think, are the number one team. Uh, jumping up to division, as they now have the division lead in the NFC South, is Tampa Bay. Really good win over Atlanta. They really needed that to gain the head in the NFC South. They got a very intriguing matchup with the Packers next week to see if they can either continue winning, in winning the division or will their dreams fall short. Now, next up, we got the Tennessee Titans, who were able to beat the Miami Dolphins off of an impressive performance by Will Levis. The defense forced a lot of turnovers in that game, which is really, really good for them. So the Titans are in bad. And tanking tier, top end of tanking, I got the Washington Commanders. They're just a bad football team. Not really much else to say. And so that is my tier list. In Super Bowl, we got the 49ers, Ravens, and Cowboys. Division, Lions, Dolphins, Chiefs, Jaguars, Buccaneers. Wild card, we got the Eagles, Browns, Colts, Vikings, Steelers, Packers. Mid, I have the Texans, Bills, Broncos, Bengals, Rams, Saints, Seahawks, Falcons. Bad, I have the Bears, Giants, Chargers, Titans, Raiders, Jets. And tanking, I got the Commanders, Cardinals, Patriots, and Panthers. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.